In this video we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting fractions. So for this example it's going to be 5 over 6 minus 3 over 4 plus 5 over 3. It starts with needing to find a common denominator for each of the fractions. So we need the lowest common multiple of 6, 4 and 3. How we can start is we can list all the multiples, the first couple of multiples of 6, 4 and 3. So starting with 6 we have 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. But you just need to list a couple until you can find one common to all three. For four, we have 8, 12, 16, 20, uh, 24, 28. You can stop at some point. And for three, um, the multiples of three, we start with three and then 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. So what we have to do is look in each of three, those three columns. And the, the smallest number that's common to all of the columns is the number that we're going to use as the lowest common multiple, or common denominator. And in this case, it's 12. So what we have to do, going back to our question, we have to multiply each fraction above and below by some number that will turn the denominator into 12. So starting with 5 over 6, in order to turn that 6 into a 12, it needs to be multiplied by 2. So we have to multiply above and below the line by 2. Next, for the 3 over 4, in order to turn the 4 into a 12, we have to multiply by 3. So we multiply above and below by 3 for this fraction. And moving on to the 5 over 3, in order to turn the 3 into a 12, uh, like before, but this time we have to multiply by 4 above and below. That is going to make all of our denominators for each of the fractions equal to 12. So just multiplying out, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 5 is 20, and each of our denominators as we designed it is going to be 12. So that now all we have to do is add up those numbers that are on the numerators. So 10 minus 9 plus 20. Now 10 plus 20 is 30, minus 9 is 21. So our final answer for this problem is going to be 21 over 12. 